Hey everyone, I'm here to show you three watercolor techniques for your watercolor projects. So, a couple things first. Whenever you're using a watercolor set, just like this one, you want to wake up your watercolors. Now, what I mean by this is adding a little bit of water to each color and also rinsing your brush out. It's very important that we don't have these watercolors get really, really messy. So every time, just say you're using yellow and then you want to switch to another color. Just say I'm painting yellow and then I want to use green. Make sure that you rinse off your brush before getting a new color. Um, make sure you don't have green on your brush and then dip into the yellow or another color because that's how they get very messy. So please make sure that you are taking care of these and rinsing off your brush between uses. Also, another thing, add more water. You do not need to really press down hard into these watercolor pans. The color is there. You just need to add some water and you'll be fine. So moving on, the first technique is just basic watercolor painting and it's called a wash. So a wash is basically just a wash of color it's just out applying the watercolor onto the watercolor paper. So you're going to make sure your brush is wet, make sure your color is awake. So um, as you can see, my red, I'm going to use the color red. Um, so my brush and my paint both have water on them. They're both wet. Then I'm just going to apply the color onto my paper. So this, this is called a wash. This is very good for just filling in areas that need color. Very good for backgrounds and just, you know, adding solid color to whatever art you're making. Okay? The next watercolor technique is dry brush. For this one, we are going to actually rinse out our brush. You're going to take a paper towel and kind of um, dry off your brush so it's just damp instead of wet. You're just going to dip it into whatever color you're using. I'm going to use blue. And then you're just going to apply it to the paper. And you can see that it's a very dark, very, very dark color. Um, and this is really good for outlining and adding extra details on a watercolor piece of art. I'll show you um, the red. So I'll show you um, what red looks like with the dry brush technique compared to the wash. So right next to it. So see how that is a lot more precise and dark? So that's the dry brush technique. So use that for outlining things and adding detail. The last is definitely my favorite. It's called wet on wet technique. So what you're going to do is decide where you're applying your watercolor. Make sure that the paper is wet. So it's pretty much like you're painting with invisible paint. You're just going to wet the area of the paper that you want paint to go on. Make sure it's not too wet though. You don't want to add too much water and overdo it. Then I'm going to make sure that my color I'm using is wet as well. So I'm actually going to use purple, my favorite color. And then you're going to apply just a little bit to the water and it has this really cool bleeding out effect. So you can keep adding on. So notice that the color only goes where you applied water to the paper. So pretty cool. So this is actually a really good technique for doing really cool backgrounds or adding a little extra something to whatever art you're making. I can do whole entire paintings with just wet on wet technique. I think it's super, super fun. You can also add in other colors. It's really good for color mixing, so I'm going to add in a little bit of blue. I'm going to also just add a touch more water. If you add in a little bit of blue, it's a nice little effect. So it's a nice way to mix colors together and also have a cool splatter looking effect. So there you have it. Those are your three basic watercolor techniques that we're going to be using for our art projects.